in gold dust. Stopped as the coach driver reined in his bucking Broncos. He pointed off into the distance past the needle sharp cactus. Great day, says the coach driver. Look at the cattle grazing peacefully. Climbing from the stagecoach, he hurried through the cactus and found a beautiful girl cottonwood cape tied to a stake. He began to untie her, but suddenly he heard the bucking broncos galloping off with the stagecoach. It's the bandits, cried beautiful cottonwood cape. They have guns. They, stop, they tied here to stop the stagecoach. Great day, moaned the coach driver. They'll get away with gold dust. Unless he peered past the cattle and the cactus. Look, exclaimed, it's the lone rider. Up galloped the lone rider. Whipping out his guns, the lone rider blasted away, not at the bandits, but at the sacks of gold dust. He hit the sacks and the gold dust floated into the air, making the bandits sneeze. They were sneezing so hard that they could no longer ride and the bucking broncos slowed up. The lone rider jumped aboard the stagecoach holding cottonwood capes and the coach driver under one arm and his smoking guns under the other. You varmints are going to jail, he said to the bandits. And Cotton, Kate, Cottonwood, Kate and I are getting hitched. Oh, no, we're not, cried Cottonwood, Kate. That may be the way it was in the old days, but we women aren't going to stand for this type of story anymore. Besides, I'm a lady marshal in disguise, and I'm arresting all of you for bad acting. And that includes the coach driver, the cow, the bucking broncos, and the cactus. The end.